A very warm welcome and greetings to all the faculty members and research scholars who are a part of this program. I, Bhavya, an assistant professor in Ramanujan College, University of Delhi, am pleased to be a part of this program. I am here to share my experiences with you on the tool which is Google Classroom. This program has been designed to improve your skill set and the amalgamation of digital tools makes a lot of difference to our teaching learning experience. At this particular point of time, when we are in a pandemic situation, the importance of digital tools has been felt all the more. Most of us have now resorted towards the usage of online tools for our teaching since we are not able to meet our students in a physical space. And as teachers, it is our responsibility that we continue with the teaching learning process. There are several digital tools available and you must be readily using them. I'm going to take up a very important learning management system that is Google Classroom. I'm sure most of you must already be using it, but my intent would be to bring you from the basics of Google Classroom to some of the advanced features. So Google Classroom is a product by Google, which has been developed to manage virtual classrooms. Now virtual classroom is anything that is not built up on a physical space. Like we are doing it nowadays. We are trying to transact with our students over the internet. It is a structured tool that helps teachers manage coursework. So through this Google Classroom, you can provide all the relevant course material to the students in any of the digital formats. It helps in enhancing communication and collaboration with the students. So as communication is a very important part of our teaching learning process, it definitely facilitates this process also. The salient features of Google Classroom are as follows. It facilitates organization of course content in digital form. So you may have videos, audios, presentations, or anything, and you can straight away upload it on your Google Classroom and it will be provided to the students. It helps assessment of students through assignments and quizzes. So evaluation of the progress of the students is of course a very important parameter in our regular teaching. It helps us through assignments and quizzes, which you can manually grade and also maintain a record of each student through the gradebook provided. It is like a report card for each student and you will be able to know how the students are performing. You will also know which students have submitted assignments and which students have not. It is totally free of cost. It is accessible anywhere. So you can use it on your mobiles or your laptops. The student's progress can be easily tracked. It also has a discussion forum where you can post notifications and students can also post their doubts or other relevant material. One of the important aspects is the limits on the class. So it's important to remember that if you use your institutional accounts, you can have 1000 teachers and students. So all in all, the number of members can be 1000. Whereas with a personal Google account, it would be 250. So I would recommend you all to actually set up your institutional accounts and get your students added through those accounts. Now, before I begin with actually creation of a Google Classroom, I thought I'll be giving you a basic view of how a classroom looks like. So this is one classroom that I use for my students. I'm teaching BSc Honors Computer Science third year and I take machine learning. Now, these are the set of students that are added to my classroom. If you talk about the classwork, then these are the materials that I have posted. These are some assignments. Here you can see these are some videos that I have posted. Then here there are some presentations. Anything for that matter, you can post and you can assess the students through assignments and quizzes. Very shortly, you will be able to build your own classrooms. Till then, stay tuned, stay safe.